Welcome to Gazroth Tutorials. I'm Gazroth, and today we're going to look at controller input code blocks. So first, we need to go into build mode, and we need to go to Gizmos, pull out a script, and we're going to need an object that we can grab. We'll just use this cube. This is pretty big, so we're going to scale this down a little bit. So we'll just make sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we're going to need to make this interactive grabbable and attach script one and we're going to change the name of our script I'm going to call it controller input tutorial so we can get rid of when world is started we're going to go to events and scroll down to controller events there are several code blocks we can uh, choose from uh, when index is pressed when index is released when button one is pressed released button 2 is pressed and released, and then when button is pressed and button is released. These last two are new. They were released in version 94, I believe. This allows us to pick individual buttons, whereas button 1 was A or X, and button 2 is B or Y. But now we can choose individual buttons. So we're just going to use a text box. So I'm going to need a object. We're going to call it text. And when we press these buttons, I'm just going to display a string on this text box. So we're going to need to display. So we're going to go to actions, scroll down to text and display text. Grab our text object variable. And this is when index trigger is pressed. So we're just going to type in index pressed. We can do the same here, but this would be released. And I'll just do this for all of these. And then we can have individual ones. So when x, x x and our last one is a little different it says right thumbstick whether you have your jump set to the right thumbstick or a it's going to say right thumbstick so if you have it toggled to jump on a your right thumbstick will fire this code if you have your jump set to right thumbstick then a will fire this code another thing to take into consideration is all of these say while grabbed. So the only time you can do any script with a button is while you're holding an object. So we're just going to create a text variable quick. Gizmo text. We're going to line it up in front of our player here and just bring it back a little bit. And that should be good. And then we're going to attach this text object to this text object variable. And now, when we press these buttons while holding that cube, our text box will update. So let's go into play mode. All right, now if I grab it, and I'm gonna use my right index trigger, so grab, now it says it's pressed and released. Now if I use my left one, nothing happens. But if I grab it with my left hand and then do it, it'll update. Same thing with our B button. It says B is pressed, B released. I have A set to my jump, so it'll be the right thumbstick. So right A is pressed, A is released. And then if I grab it with my left hand and use the X, X is pressed, X is released, and then Y, Y pressed, Y released. Now if I don't want the individual buttons I can use when button one is pressed when button two is pressed so in order to do that I would have to delete these so we can just delete these quick now when I go in and use the right thumbstick it'll say button one is pressed button one is released and if I use B it'll say button two is pressed button two is released and the same thing with this so X is one and then Y is 2. I can go into my settings for my player, go to gameplay settings, and then all the way on the bottom, jump controls, I can change it from A button, press right thumbstick, 
right up. So if I go to pr press right thumbstick, now I have to push down on my right thumbstick to jump. So now I can push down with the A button and it will fire the code. Well, that's pretty much what I have for the button input code blocks. You can do a lot of different things while holding an object. Unfortunately, you have to be holding it in order to fire off the commands. And since we can't get the actual controller scheme of each player, we have no way of knowing if they have it set to A or if they have jump set to the right thumbstick. So that particular set of buttons might cause some issues. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video, or have suggestions for a future video, please let me know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, or if you learned something, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. I am trying to come out with a video on every Monday. So far we are making that. Oh, I'll try to give you a thumbs up. What is going on here? It's like a rave going on here. Do, 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 do. That is giving me a headache. Thanks for watching and have a good one.